Virgo, welcome back. This is going to be your weekend reading. If you're new, please smash that uh, like button. Yeah. Um, if you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video where you can purchase that reading. That little smudge is making me nuts. Um, you can also go over to my website, download, uh, subscribe to my website, put in your email, and get a free Twin Flame ebook that will be delivered right to your email. Um, yeah. And. Um, Thank you for becoming a member of my channel and uh, being here every night for the uh, readings. <laughs> my brain, <laughs> what's going on? Does my brain work today? What's going on? Um, okay, so you're starting with karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving yourself. Not enough. Frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy, Blah. Blech. one more one more one more for virgo girl talk oh okay girl or guy talk whichever um time with friends moving on happily single living in the moment having fun listen so this obviously we're rounding off the weekend from the way this week's been minus maybe one reading this week as you know it seemed like it was narc week <laughs> so yeah, it looks to me like this weekend, Virgo, lessons being learned. Um, something here about not feeling good enough in a relationship um, and suffering from something that was not good. You know, um, some of you, I'm going to just say this, might be... So some of you might be feeling like there's something wrong with you. I'm just like, just bear with me for a minute. Might be feeling like there's something wrong with you. Like why you weren't good enough for someone. Or I don't know what kind of relationship you were in. Maybe a parent um, or a, a romantic partnership or just something going on. And some of you might be diagnosing yourself with pretty severe mental disorders. But if you were in a very toxic relationship... I'm going to have to just give you a little support here. This can be my girl talk. There's nothing wrong with you. You have been suffering. And anyone, you might have some PTSD from something. There's something here about this weekend where you get into some conversations. Maybe you're talking to someone on the phone. And actually, it's interesting because that right there says, Hello, Kim. Maybe you have a friend named Kim. Are you going to be talking to someone? Or maybe your name is Kim. You'll be talking to someone and getting into more positive energy. Look at the little hearts on her slippers. You know, masculine or feminine, whatever you are. But this is about getting through all that, right? And, and getting that support. You might have been in a karmic relationship. Or you're coming to terms with and saying to yourself, Hey, babe, it ain't me, it's you. It's not me, it's you. <laughs> Instead of taking all the blame for something that um, got put on you or that you allowed yourself to be put on you. Okay, so the weekend kind of looks like you get some kind of pick-me-ups from people who support you. Okay, which is, I feel like something that y you might need, right? Uh, and this is something, wow, here's the Queen of Cups. So you really get into your emotions. You get into a comforting, calm place, nurturing yourself, healing yourself, um, becoming emotionally stable. And I feel like, like, I don't feel like, look, some of you, like you always hear me say, well, placing blame doesn't really solve any problems, but on other people, but placing the blame on yourself doesn't solve the problem either. So maybe this is just about you taking a look at your feelings and your emotions and learning to nurture yourself over this weekend. Start caring about yourself, you know. Um, you were enough, Virgo. You were good enough. You were. But you were in something that wasn't, maybe it was fake or something that wasn't right. And maybe you felt you were duped. And I feel like you've got some friends here or some people. Oh my God. How can I show you this? So I just flipped. I was shuffling and my card flipped. I don't know how I can show you this, but I'm gonna find a way. My microphone, this card just got stuck in my microphone. Just like that. 
Okay, so there's a sneak peek behind the scenes, but the Knight of Cups just kind of fell in there. So, hmm, I'm going to have to take this as like uh, uh, coming in upright or maybe sideways. Virgo, I feel like something left you sideways with someone. So the Knight of Cups, right? Romantic, charming type of an energy. Knight and shining armor. Prince or princess charming proposal. But was it someone who, this is also moodiness, disappointment, overreactive, imagination, jealousy. Virgo, I think somebody put you sideways. You got, somebody threw you off the horse or something. You weren't really on the horse. Like if this is that Narc Week continuation, which it might be, that's what you're going through. A karmic relationship. Hmm, something didn't fall, something didn't pan out or go the way. You had hoped, it, for some of you, it could have been with a Gemini or a Cancer. Could have been with a Scorpio or a Libra. Uh, could be with a, or a Pisces. Hmm. Didn't come fully to fruition. Why? Because it was karmic. So there's this energy of like seeing this over the weekend. Yeah. And look, you got the Eight of Cups. Leaving it behind, Virgo. Look at you walking away. Come to terms with something and walking away from this. Saying to yourself, this is not for me. This is not what I wanted. Maybe, Virgo, you were trying to love somebody and it just wasn't enough. You might have been with someone at some point in your life where they weren't capable of meeting your needs. And maybe you were trying to put all that love into the relationship with the both of you so much moving away somebody might have been born in 1986 this is making a transition virgo you're leaving something behind here and even if it's not physical it's in your mind and that means that you don't have any more expectations you're not going to expect anything healthy from a or, or that you can get your needs met from a karmic relationship this is eye-opening you might have uh, someone, a friend or some friends who are giving you some type of revelation, you know, saying to you, like, leave it behind. This person is like, come with a ton of baggage, whoever they are, whoever the person is, whoever the, you were in a karmic relationship with, they can have just they're like sandbags keeping you from lifting off, holding you back. It looks like you're, you're really making that transition. Maybe you're going to go travel this weekend or you know or go somewhere to see your friends or connect with someone who gives i'm feeling like pep talk enough because you're not it looks like this some kind of karmic relationship is leaving you feeling like you're not good enough and you need your people around you yeah so good go get them go get them those people who support you who remind you of who you are okay there's a magician taking action getting your self-confidence back these people are going to help you. Wow. Okay. You're not ready for new love just yet, but it's coming. It's, it, it, it's kind of like, hmm. If love were to enter into your life, some blessing of love, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, and maybe it's at a 1.5. It's there, but it's not fully, it's, it has not fully manifested. And, and, but it's there, which is a start, okay? There's great potential. And you might not be fully ready to receive just yet. The blessing is coming. And I'm just hearing, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Okay. Look, clarity. See it for what it is here. You're going to have some, there's a breakthrough coming. So I feel like this is really just about you getting yourself back up to a neutral position. You know, not so much blaming another, but also not blaming yourself. If anything, taking accountability for what you allow to happen in your life, meaning you came to realize that something was karmic, yet you stayed anyway, and that's okay. Um, but maybe on this weekend, you're kind of like, you know, maybe this is affecting my self-esteem or my self-confidence, or I don't feel safe in some kind of relationship and I need to, I need to move on. Yeah, and having that breakthrough, that mental clarity you get. And then what are you doing here? You're putting up boundaries. Gearing up for the worst, right? You're weary, wounded. It's your test of your faith, being persistent. Huh. 
guess who showed up? The King of Swords there yesterday. Okay, that could be this person from yesterday. Like I said, a Taurus, a Gemini, Aquarius, uh, a, a Libra, whoever it is. Whoever this person, this karmic, there's, see, after that we had the Fool yesterday. Now you get the Star, another Aquarius card. I feel like it's a little bit of a continuation from yesterday. This person, remember I said, if you didn't listen to it, go back to yesterday's reading. The person, the King of Swords, masculine or feminine, coming in with this spiritual change, growth, rejuvenation, you know, uh, I'm better, that kind of thing. I don't know, Virgo. I feel like you're coming to terms maybe a little bit more each day or you're just getting more confirm confirmation about some type of karmic connection that you already know about and you're healing from that. And with the support group, you got people around you. Like, listen, if you've talked to a lot of people about some type of karmic relationship and a majority of them have said to you, you need to move on from that. Right? They can't all be wrong. <laughs> they can't all be wrong. Even if you tell them all the great things that have happened, but if there's, but you know, they're still saying to you, look, this, like, this is, you keep talking, this is bad. If, ev if they're all saying it, they can't all be wrong, especially if they're all not talking to each other, if you're talking to different people. I feel like you're going to get a red flag card coming up here for this weekend. I really do. So you're healing. Look, here you go. You got a block right? You're blocking. You're deflecting. You're not reconciling here with someone. You're opening yourself up to people that are not karmic in your life, okay? And you're calling it what it is, seeing it for what it is, which is good, right? And I know you want to talk about money, and, and, and if I have anything to say about money, yesterday we did see that it was money coming in the bank, but I do feel like um, some of that money that is going to be in your bank account is going to be partly because of your savings, some of your savings. So you're okay. I, I feel like financially, you're going to be okay. And you also may come up with some new schemes to make more money as well. So when I say schemes, it's like plans and ideas. Okay, look, you'll be back out in that sunshine in no time. Maybe you're going out this weekend, somewhere where it's warm and sunny, um, taking your kids or your grandkids out somewhere. Um, playfulness, being happy, uh, having a rebirth this weekend is what I feel like is happening because I do see like you come into like maybe a little bit of a downish darkish kind of place a little and you get on the phone and you're 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 chit chatting with with whomever that makes that kind of they build you up you know they want the best for you uh, and then you, you give that energy in the in return but most of the time I feel like Virgo Virgo gives that energy a lot more than they ask for it and it looks like this weekend, you're going to be asking for some help. Maybe reaching out and saying, hey, do you have a minute? Can we talk? And, and opening yourself up to people who are trustworthy. And they, and they give you that positive energy. They do. I love it. I love it. I love it. And they help you rebuild. They help you rebuild. Okay? You get back on track is what I see. Because of these... Because of one person or uh, some people that you connect with, okay, that is a acquaintance or friend, it could even be a therapist, whatever it is, whomever it is, you know, you, you're, you're coming to terms with some stuff. And so I feel like this, this, I feel like this reading is going to be a little shorter, a little shorter than normal because it's really what I feel like is the end of this crazy week, this, this narc week. Okay. And do I have to tell you this? Someone feels regret for the way they treated you. That's coming up. <clears throat> they will be seeking your forgiveness. Or you, maybe, were in some type, some of you, okay? Uh, when I don't mean maybe. There's just some of you that have been in the uh, karmic relationship for a long time and you've isolated yourself with that person and you haven't spoken with your tribe, your soul tribe. Um, and that could very well be you reaching out and talking to them and asking them to forgive you for n n leaving them or not reaching out or not connecting with them. 
you know, which I don't feel like is going to be a problem. I feel like your friends or your people, your soul tribe understand. I don't feel like they're holding it against you. I feel like they're going to answer the phone. Um, and I think you already know that, uh, but you are, you're going through something this weekend, but listen, you come out of it, right? You have that awakening. You come out of it. You're not stuck in this. There's, there's going to be enough of the weekend left for you to go out and have fun and enjoy yourself. You start asking yourself, does this relationship or person or this connection, does this situation align with my values and morals? That's really what it comes down to. Is there alignment here? Not with a karmic relationship. It's fleeting. It's triggering. It causes turmoil, resentment. There's lessons to be learned. And part of that is to let go and start loving yourself. Right? I, I love that you're going to come to terms with getting yourself back. Reacquainting yourself with yourself. Who you are before you got hooked on this chemistry. Chemistry is chemical. Chemistry is chemical. There's got to be more to a relationship than just chemistry. Compatibility, motivation, willingness, capability to be together, all of that, you know. Um, but chemistry is like a drug. Let's see. And I feel like because of the karmic type of energy, that is a very strong, there's a very strong chemistry between you, but like two people that are indulging in let's say drugs or doing heroin together whatever right and god i hope that's not your situation and if it were i hope you recovered and good for you if you have but if there was that kind of dopamine hit or something between the two of you i mean that just unhealthy do you know what i mean it's just unhealthy and also coming to terms this person is unable to give you all you deserve right so virgo you're coming through the shadows coming through the darkness this weekend. Now, listen, I know it's not going to be for all of you. Some of you have already come through this. And the best thing I can say is if you're listening to this reading and you have come through the darkness, through the valley of hell and death, and you've come out the other side and you're better, pay it forward to others that are here that are still going through this or that are trying to, to get their lives saved from something here, right? Pay it forward. Let them know. Speak it. Speak it in existence in the chat, in the comments. Tell them they can do this. They can get through this with their support and their friends out of a karmic situation. That they can do better. Okay. Now you got the hope. Future plans and choosing a path and having your hope again. Right? Not fake hope. But making that wish when you are at this point in your 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 life where you really just want better for yourself your hope faith and wishes will be restored when you make future plans to choose a different path you have to choose a different path virgo in a karmic karmic is just basically another word for toxic toxic relationship okay i'm making peace with your past as well right not bored just at peace. Trust that God is working in your life even when you feel discouraged. Be patient and trust his timing. Trust the process. And boom. You'll just get like what? Things may seem to be in chaos or have been in chaos for you. But it, it's for the good. Because after every storm comes a cleansing. Stand firmly on the ground and know Virgo. What you're going through and the people that are there for you who support you are there for your best your your best outcome and you know, i feel like learning a new skill what's going on hmm a loving older female so there's someone showing up maybe you're showing up for yourself or there's you know maybe kim or that other person um showing up for you is is I don't know. She's got a lesson. She's got something to teach you. She's got something to present to you. Um, I kind of feel like she's like in this energy. Well, think about it this way, Virgo. Look at it from this point of view, right? Um, try something. Try this approach. Like she's, she's, the loving older female comes across to me as the water sign, the, the queen um, of cups uh, in a masculine or feminine energy where 
this type of person is very supportive. Um, they're almost like they have like emotion. They're like an emotional professor, <laughs> maybe even a therapist. Okay. Um, they're nurturing. They're healing. They're very tolerant and empathetic. And, and this is, I don't feel like this is the person that's the karmic. I feel like this is somebody else who's giving you a little bit of like, um, uh, just a different perspective, right? So, I mean, Virgo, if you're going through something different or difficult like this, you know, my heart goes out to you. I, I pray for you. I really do. I hope that you are able to see something through here and come out the other side because I feel like it will be beautiful and glorious for you to um, kind of set yourself free, okay, from fear and anxiety. Recognizing, having that, uh, recognizing yourself or gaining that recognition and applause from your supporters and people that love you, right? Material wish being granted as well, so, hmm. So if you're leaving a relationship with someone and you need to find a new place or you're getting yourself, you, you need something, I feel like that, that's going to come through for you. Okay. So even if that's in the form of a down payment, remember we saw money yesterday. Um, if that's in the form of like some kind of tangible coin or um, a place that you need to go to uh, or someone opening their door for you i feel like that's gonna definitely come about here i'm not gonna go into the chinese signs because i feel like this is just all across the board you know who you are if you're dealing with this kind of energy it's not honestly it's an awakening that's what i feel like it is you're having an awakening let's just get right into your charms and then i'm going to close out the reading because i am done with narc week <laughs> i am so done oh what the heck is this charm? Well, this is just apropos. You have a spider's web. You have been caught in a spider's web. Yes, that's been difficult to get out of. Some connection to a spider's web here, Virgo. <clears throat> okay, and also, um, well, maybe you have a tattoo of a spider in a web, but there is some kind of connection. In regards to a spider or spider's web. Hold on. That feels mostly like being trapped, like being stuck. You know how a spider sets a trap? You fly into it, not even seeing it. Like if you're a fly or a bee or a moth. And then it sneaks up on you and then wraps you up in its spider's web. Yeah. Some of you might be relating to that. You also have the pentacle here. So that's good. That's definitely, that just confirms to me, number one, and this is definitely for you as a Virgo, and number two, there's that money. There's that coin. The, the, the coin represents tangibility. It represents what's real. The physical, it represents what's real. It's not an action. It's about physical, physicality, things that are real. Some of you just need to get back to terra firma. You need to get grounded. Getting grounded is definitely where you need to be because let me tell you why you are a resourceful fertile type of a person you're solid you're wise there are things about you that you may have forgotten about who you are because of a karmic relationship reorienting yourself to yourself is the best thing you can do over this weekend i feel like it's something that you need to do and if that just means spending time with your support group or that just means being with those people um, and not in this karmic connection, I feel like you're going to really get back to where you need to be. I'm trying to, like, the charms I keep picking up are the ones that we had yesterday, and I don't want to give you the same again. All right, here. You have a yin-yang. Um, that's harmony, and that's unity. And you also have, what the hell is this? Oh, this is like a really old-looking plane. Somebody might be a pilot. Maybe you're thinking about the days when you were in an, in the Air Force, if you were in the Air Force or you flew. Um, there's something here. Some of you might be getting back on a plane. Or you're going on a plane this weekend. Uh, or going somewhere, connecting with someone. This yin-yang energy. Uh, this is all about... Um, 
it's okay so they're saying it's not about anything specific it's it's just about uh, something to like you have a connection i don't know what that means you have some kind of connection to the yin yang symbol okay maybe you thought the karmic was the yin to your yang maybe you thought that you know um i feel like you're just reorienting and so the yin yang can represent the orient right so there's definitely reorientation happening here all right virgo i know those short but i'm gonna leave it i'm so ready to be on to this weekend <laughs> and i have a couple of plans going on here and um I'm looking forward to just breaking free. So I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. You know, I'll be back on um, Sunday to do your um, week ahead reading. So definitely go check that out. And just a couple little announcements as per usual. Do go ahead and join my channel. If you have not joined, welcome to Shonda, Keith Butler, Missy Baby 1934. Thank you so much to the mods. I just want to say, awesome. Um, thank you for staying on topic. I know Streamlabs hasn't been around. I don't know what's going on. So I got to make sure that I got to figure out what's going on with him. He hasn't been in the chat. Um, do go over to my website. The link will be Streamlabs posts all the links. If you can't find the link to book readings or to join my website to get the free Twin Flame ebook download um, in your email, um, They'll all be there in the chat. Streamlabs, I'll get him running up. You should see him or you've been watching him showing up in the chat today. But yeah, I think that's it. I'm sure I'll forget. There's something else I probably want to say. But have a fantastic weekend. Thank you guys for being here and supporting the channel. We are already, we're up to 46,663 subscribers. So I, I'm pretty sure we're going to hit the 50,000 very sure, uh, very soon. And hopefully we get up to the 100K soon. That'll be great. So um, do share the readings and the videos with all your friends. And I think, oh, you know what? I'm going to make that announcement later. So uh, I have to think. I don't want to say anything before I'm sure. So yeah, have a great weekend, you guys. Love you very much. Take care. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.